Time for another board game review, and this time we have the game Gyrating Hamsters. Uh, this was sent to me by Lion Rampant Imports. It is the unadopted version, so it's uh, the 18 plus version. The haphazard hoarding of hilarious hamster hordes. Uh, okay, let me show you how to play. So in Gyrating Hamsters, uh, every player gets eight cards to start, uh, and then you can uh, choose three of those hamsters, uh, clan hamsters from your hand, to be in your starting hoard, and you place those face down. So I could pick these three, and these are my starting, my starting clan. Once everyone's picked their three, you flip them all over simultaneously, and you begin. So the way to win the game is to collect nine hamsters from a single clan, meaning color, uh, or a total of 16 hamsters altogether. So on your turn, you draw two cards, you play a clan card, I meaning you can pick, play any of the five hamster clans, Crimson, Forest, Midnight, Gold, and Violet. If you're playing with two to four players, you only play with four hamster clans. So I could go, uh, I'll use, I'll play High Hamster for the Crimson clan. Then you can play any additional card. You may play another clan hamster, or an action, an attack hamster, or a gyrating hamster card. So I could play, so let's say, another crimson card if I wanted. Here we have hammered hamster. I could play gyrating hamster, uh, which uh, you can play it as a wild clan hamster, or you can uh, discard it and steal a hamster from someone else, from everyone else's horde. But let's say I play another red hamster from my crimson clan. Now, some clan hamsters have a special action when you have two or more in your hand, like this one, the headless hamster. Uh, draw an extra card per turn when you have two of these. Okay, that's a pretty nice little action. The homeless hamster, uh, play an extra card per turn when you have two of these. So since I have two headless hamsters, I can get an extra card when I draw. Attack hamsters like this uh, Hitler hamster, um, all other players must discard two hamsters from their horde. Uh, these count toward your total horde when you play them, um, but they are not part of a specific clan. Action cards are played during step three and they let you do an action. This one says draw one card from another player's hand and play immediately. Um, and then there are special red actions that can be played at any time. This one says, play this card at any time to stop a battle between any two players. Chaos cards, uh, when you draw them, you have to play them immediately. Uh, and they are removed from the game as soon as they are uh, played. So this one says Russian Roulette. Uh, all players must roll the dice. Odd roll means uh, you discard two horde hamsters and even roll you can play two clan hamsters. Uh, so they are uh, chaotic cards that uh, happen once don't happen again and they affect everybody. Now after the first round of play and everyone's had a chance to place down some hamsters, uh, you can do battling in step four. Uh, the winner of a battle is determined by rolling dice equal to the number of hamsters you put up for battle. Whoever rolls the highest single die wins the whole battle. Uh, if there's a tie, you roll one additional die each and the highest die wins until somebody wins. Whoever loses all their hamsters goes to the winner's horde. Uh, and there are two types of battles, duels and clan battles. For a duel, you choose one of your hamsters and let's say your opponent has this hamster you want. Uh, you can pick one of your hamsters and one of their hamsters and they're gonna duel. So both of you roll the dice. Hey, roll the three, roll the three, try again. Roll the... Two, roll the six. Hey, he won, so he gets your card to his horde. With a clan battle, what you can do is, is you can choose up to four hamsters from one clan. So let's say he chooses these three from the red clan, and then he has to challenge someone who also has crimson hamsters. You can't challenge uh, hamsters from a different clan in a clan battle. So let's say player two has uh, two red hamsters here. Um, so you pick it, you roll a dice for every hamster you have. So player one would roll three dice. And he rolled four, five, and two. Player two would roll two dice. And he rolled a one and a two. Now, since uh, he rolled the highest dice out of all of them, he gets all the cards. Now, let's say player one had three hamsters and player three had one red hamster. And let's say player one rolled, let's say, a five, four, and a three. And let's say player three rolled a six. Even though uh, they only have one hamster, because they roll the highest dice, they win all the hamsters. So player three would get all the hamsters in that scenario. Now, if a player ever gets three of the same hamster, like here we have three homeless hamsters, um, they become safe from actions, attack hamsters, and cannot be battled for. They are basically a safe set. If you have four of the same hamster, you're safe from actions, attack hamsters, and gyrating hamsters, and chaos cards. Uh, and it cannot be battled for, so that means they're safe from everything, even the chaos cards and the gyrating hamsters. And like I said before, if you have a hamster with a special action, uh, you can do a special effect with them. And if you have two pairs, actually, of the same hamster, you can actually do it twice. 
And that's pretty much it. There are other cards, like different attack cards, like there's Harambe Hamster. Take one hamster from another player's horde and add it to yours. There's the Orgy Chaos card. Uh, everyone shuffles all horde hamsters and redistribute them equally among all players. Uh, and you can't choose not to do that. Other than that, you're just battling for hamsters, and whoever gets nine hamsters from one clan color or 16 hamsters total is the winner. And that's how you play. So, what do I like about this game? Um, it's simple to play. I mean, very simple to play. Like, all you're doing is placing down cards and rolling dice and that. So I guess in terms of learning how to play, it's very simple to learn. Now, the theming of this game, I do not like at all. I just, the idea, uh, ha ha ha, herp, herpes hamster, ha ha ha, ha heroin hamster. Oh man, hand job hamster. Oh look, this one's taking a shit. Hot, hot Carl hamster. It's, it's the idea of just, whoa ho ho. Look how raunchy and R-rated these hamsters are. Uh, it doesn't appeal to me at all. I am not approved by any means of the word, um, but it just feels so try-hard to me. Like, it's just, look at how edgy we are. Oh, and look, Harambe hamster, how, how topical. Now, that's a problem with the 18 plus version. So let's say you got the regular version, but then the gameplay is just so simplistic and random. All you're doing is rolling dice and hoping for the best. Oh, I'm going to challenge you with four of my hamsters and you have one hamster. Oh, you rolled a six. I rolled not a six. You get all my cards. Okay. On top of that, with the chaos cards, the randomness of it is so frustrating. You really don't feel like you have any control over it. Because unless you have those three or four uh, sets, if a chaos card gets pulled, hey, everyone mixes up all their hamsters and all the work you're putting in just gets fucked. So this is an 18 plus game. I will be uh, uh, employing the 18 plus words for this review. The only satisfying thing about it is, yeah, matching hamsters and getting the perks. That's satisfying if you can manage it uh but otherwise it's you're just rolling dice and that's all you're doing all in all i can't really recommend this i don't like the theming at all it's just kind of like edgy try hard gross out humor i mean i don't want to see hamsters shitting and with dicks and stuff i it's just so i mean if if that if the idea of seeing a hamster with a boner is just fucking hilarious to you, like you're just just crying with laughter, then maybe you'll like this theming. But, uh, I, I myself did not really care for it, I thought it was annoying, and then the gameplay was also not very fun. 